Hi, this is Miss Wright, and I am going to go over the Romeo and Juliet vocabulary for college prep students. This is Act 3 vocabulary. Act 3 Appertaining. Appertaining. Appertaining means relating to belonging to or appropriate. So these three items are appertaining to this one. They are part of this one. So something that belongs or is appropriate in a different, in a specific category is appertaining, appertaining. Effeminate, effeminate. Um, this man is dressed in an effeminate manner. It means womanish. It can mean cowardly or not aggressive. So this is an extreme version of effeminate. But effeminate definitely refers to a man who is not masculine, who is not aggressive. Marshall. Marshall. Military, military, it has to do with, um, Marshall has to do with armed forces, marshalling troops. Agile, agile. Active, able to move quickly and easily and quickly. This cheetah is an agile cat. Garish, garish. Gaudy, dressing in a very um, flashy style. I believe we had the word um, garish before, but some people might consider the decorations on this house to be a bit much and therefore got. Um, gaudy or garish. Dismal, dismal. Sad and gloomy, um, but it's more relating to um, atmosphere. A dismal day might be a rainy day or overcast day. Um, uh, I did dismally on my test, meaning I did very poorly on my test. Do I feel dismal? I might not feel dismal. I might feel, um, be sullen. So that's another word that's going to be coming up. Adversity, adversity. Hardship or difficulty. This um, gentleman who has no um, feet is using prosthetics to become a um, sprinter, a racer. He is overcoming his adversity with the use of prosthetics. Sojourn, sojourn. To remain, to stay for a time in a place other than your home. So you might sojourn during the summer months in the Caribbean, if you're very lucky, or the Mediterranean, or at summer camp, or in the mountains with your family. It's to visit somewhere for a short period of time. Abhor, abhor. To look at with horror, to hate intensely. So something um, that you dislike a great deal, Maybe you abhor the taste of broccoli or okra. I remember hating okra when I was a kid. Um, anything that you look at and are repulsed by, the word abhor would be appropriate. Forbear, forbear. To put up with, to tolerate. So when you have a newborn, you have to forbear a lot of crying. Babies cry a lot and you have to put up with it because they can't help themselves. 
devise, devise to come up with a plan to create something to guess or imagine. And this person seems to be devising something very complicated. Okay, so you devise a plan. Um, slander, slander. Making false statements to ruin someone's reputation. And it looks like these two people are trying to slander the person in front. So when you um, knowingly misrepresent someone's character to ruin their reputation, the word for that is slander. Valor, valor. Valor means bravery. And here a firefighter is rescuing a child from a burning <clears throat> from a burning building and that is an act of valor rights rights religious or other formal ceremony this um young african girl is receiving her rites of passage in her beautiful costume Predicament, predicament. This cat is in a difficult, is in a predicament. He is in a difficult situation. He's having a problem in that he got his head stuck in this can and hopefully he can get it out. Someone can help him, but he's in a difficult situation as we can see. Sullen, sullen. This is the word that I was talking about. And this word means gloomy, sad, brooding, bitter, and unhappy. This is more the way um, you might appear if you are not feeling happy. You might have a sullen expression on your face or have a sullen attitude when you are not happy about something that's going on. <clears throat> lamentation, lamentation. Strong grief, sorrow, crying loudly over death or disaster. This is a um, statue that is um, depicting lamentation. This person is in mourning. And one reason that you know is because this is a statue in a graveyard. So it's an embodiment of the idea of grief or sorrow. And lamentation would be an appropriate word here. Okay, these lists are short because some of the words are challenging. Um, make sure that you study. Make sure you've done all your um, related worksheets and puzzles. Uh, check the calendar to know when the next uh, quiz will be. And... Thank you for using these videos to help you prepare. Um, you must be an awesome student, and I will see you back in class. Bye-bye.